Hello there, dear viewers. My name is Jakob Hack, and for the past 10 years, I've been working with trying to teach people about mobile music making, doing reviews and things like that. And all of that work has basically been done with me sitting down in a chair. I'm now 10 years older, so I'm 43 or 44. I can never remember my age because I never celebrate my birthday. Well, I've been watching my hairline recede and whatever hair I have left has gone gray now. And I've also gained weight because I've been sitting down all of this time. The work I do takes between eight up to 12 hours a day. So when I'm awake, I sit down most of that time and that is not good. So I decided to get myself an iPad floor stand. <laughs> You see, in Sweden, Cello Company is basically like Sweden's Radio Shack. And so I went there to look for an iPad floor stand, and it turns out that they have one under their own brand. And so sure, it doesn't help those of you who want a similar one, because you can only buy this in Swedish stores. Well, I'm sure you can find similar products on Amazon or wherever type of online store you need to go to to buy one. Now, there aren't that many parts. There's a floor plate that is fairly heavy, which it needs to be because it needs the whole thing to be kind of sturdy so it doesn't wobble around. But the most important thing is that the rods that are connected to the iPad holder, that they are actually securely fastened down against the plate. And so in this case, you just put a plastic thing on there, you put down the rod, and then you have two screws that you fasten from the other side of the plate. Now, here's where my first problem occurred. You see, one of the screws went in with almost no issues. I could feel that there were some residues, metal residues left from production inside the holes, which is a big no-no, but that screw went in. The second screw, however, did not go in that easily because something was crooked. I could see it in the way that the screw was protruding out, it was crooked. So I tried to unscrew it and screw it in there several times. And at one point it kind of got stuck. So once you got that on there, you need to get that second rod on and then put two screws in there. And then all you have to do is to mount the actual iPad holder. You unscrew this thing with, uh, I don't know what you call it in English. And then you put it on that little ball thing there. And then you press this thing against the ball and then you screw this thing back together. And there you go. Now you have an iPad stand. By the way, the tools that they pack with these things, don't use them because I did because I wanted to do this authentic experiment where I used the tools that they pack because that's what a normal consumer would do. But it turns out that the tools didn't grip well enough, so I had to go to my own toolbox and bring my own tools. And another thing is that these screws are so soft. They break easily. I could screw them in, but I can't unscrew them now. Now, the way that you mount the iPad in here is by forcing these clamps apart. The mechanism in here is probably done with tension springs or something like that. And they're fairly strong. They're strong enough to hold an iPad. And then they have rubberized surfaces that kind of cling onto the iPad. So once it's in there, it's secure. It's not going anywhere. Now, the first thing I noticed was that this thing is kind of wobbly. And what I did here was I pressed harder and tapped harder against the iPad than I normally do when I work, just to show you how wobbly this thing can get. And somehow it's like my eyes are adjusting to it anyway, so it's really not that annoying. I thought it would be more annoying actually. But it is something you're gonna have to deal with. And the only way you could make it more secure is if you're a welder or something, if you have welding tools, then you could weld something onto the plate here and then onto the rods. And that might be overkill. Either way, I've been using this thing for three hours now. I can tell you that when you are using synthesizers and you're playing keyboards, Mm, this is when it starts getting annoying and when you're doing stuff with uh, drumming or you know using koala sampler something with an mpc like interface if you're a hard tapper then something like this is probably going to be annoying to you and we'll see how it goes because in three months from now i'll do an updated review so stay tuned on this channel Thank you so much for watching Hack Attack. And if you want to support me, then giving me a thumbs up is a good way of doing it. If you don't want to do that, then I, I don't know what to tell you. 
If you want to support me in a financial way, go check out my presets for Trooper and Timeless. If you don't want to do that, I've got a Patreon and PayPal. If you don't want to do that, you can check out my music. If you don't want to do any of it, that's fine too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Ho, ho. Ho, 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 ho, ho.